Welcome back guys, how are you all doing? My name is Marks, this is Marxcraft, and today we're going to be working on the fishing village. Alright guys, so last time when we were over here, we, uh, we got all the cliffs up here. And we got to about here, textured on the top. Uh, now, as I said in the last episode, I went around and got the rest of it all textured up. We've grassed out over the edges of all of it. And yes, yeah, looking a lot, lot better than it was. I mean, it's nearly covered up in, in grass so far. Just that little bit left over there. Yeah, but not only that, we just ignore this for a second. We'll come back to it in a moment. Um, we've also gone and kind of filled in this top bit here just so it's the start of the hill coming down. I mean, obviously this is going to go all the way back up to over here and at that kind of height. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot more to fill in over there, which is a hell of a lot of dirt. But fortunately, there's all this down here I can harvest. Um, now, down here, so this is a lot of what happened uh, on stream and things, and um, there isn't a VOD for that, just because of copyright things and everything, it's, it's just easier to not save them, just because I'd rather not the account get banned. So just here, I was thinking like a lake or something. Um, just so the well makes a bit more sense. So maybe there's like an underground spring in the cliff behind here that feeds this and then this kind of feeds that. I don't know. Maybe. Um, just makes sense as to why that's not that all the way up then to the top. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be... This hill's going to come around the back here and then this will come around this side so this will be um, more cliffy area um, along with this valley here so we're going to have a lot of cliffage around uh, this bit just here but then up above it it's just going to be rolling hills going back over there and uh, now this end there is going to be a break somewhere here, like a, a mini ravine or something. I don't know. Um, I'll get to that as I get to it, because I want it to be that the only way down is to come round this way. So it, it kind of forces you through here. Um, or around the top. And I say around the top because... So... This bring comes down here towards the fishing village that's gonna we're gonna be planning out today. I'm sorry, this is quite talky, but it's uh, it'll make sense in the long run as to why we're going through all this. So this is is gonna be kind of a, a path that leads up, like a very slow, gradual incline to that level. Not over there, but it'll, to that level, um, so you can get access to the top here. Or you can come down from up there through the valley and you can bypass the fishing village that's going to be here entirely. Just go around and off you go over to, to there. Now if you do come through the fishing village, there's going to be this way around. So you can come out this way. And as well, so there was actually where we're stood now, there's a, it's not even a river because it doesn't attach to the ocean. Or does it? I've been an idiot. No, it doesn't. See, it's not actually connected. And it just kind of ends over there somewhere. And then it just ends over there somewhere. So it's just like a bit of water that runs through. So yeah, I just built over it. And built the uh, the land up here. So this was a few levels lower. So I've just built it up. We've got a little bit of a higher area here. Which kind of looks weird. Now I'm looking at it. Um... Now this fishing village is is going to be still quite simple and straightforward. Um, 
we're going to have a port for like the fishing boats and things off this island here. So there might be like a little docking harbour house thing. Um, so yeah, this is going to get connected up and there'll be that there. And then we're going to have maybe a com say commercial, a general one here for people that want to come in. You know, they can dock a ship and wander off down there or they can come to the fishing village um, and whatnot. So in one of these, we have wool. So we're going to plan out the builds today. And we've got a little mob farm going on under here. Yep. So I need to sort this out at some point as well. Because that is no good. So it might be that we, uh, we make another mega torch just to avoid any problems over here. Yeah, this is the river that I've, uh, I've built over. I might be moved. Never mind. Yep. So, uh, so this bit here is just going to be a path that runs through to that. So this is not going to be part of the village. This is just going to be like a road that comes from, from the dock down this way. Um, and if you were to come into the village, there might be like a, a gatehouse or something, a bit of a gate. Um, primitive kind of gate though so you know it'd be wooden fencing and things like that uh, similar to how the walls have been done over there but with stripped wooden um, logs and things like that and they're just going to be like uh, shacks all and everything so there might be a few houses like in um, The Hobbit to Desolation of Smaug, there are those kind of fishing, that fishing place. Um, I'm gonna have a have a look at that and probably skip through the, the movie just to get some ideas for that. Just for some bigger looking ones. I know that's sort of built onto the water. Um, but I've got a few ideas for it. I need to do a bit more research before I build them. It's a lot of land actually looking at it. Um, so it's going to be quite open and empty. Hmm. We'll see. I've got a, I've got a few plans. So um, let me just, uh, I'm going to cut here, have a quick look at a few other designs just for size wise, and then we'll get on to planning now. So see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I've had a bit of a look at a few different things. And I think about kind of how I'm going to do things here. Now, generally you'd think kind of like fishing villages would be down by the river. So what I might do is have, I'm going to have a couple of huts down here. So I'm going to need to pull this land out a little bit, I think. So I'll do that with sand probably um just kind of like in line with this so just pull it all the way all out to around here ish just a nice long sweeping corner um just to match up with this i'm going to fill this bit in but then probably do a small bridge over here and maybe just like a little a little wooden thing, like a rope bridge or I might No, I might go stone bridge. Yeah, I'll go with a with a stone bridge. Do not tell me this just here goes to the ocean. Because then what I was saying earlier was wrong. Oh no it doesn't. It doesn't good. Ooh. So, where are we? Over here. Um, yeah, so the the houses and things I'm looking at aren't actually that big. Uh, but I'm going to do more here than there is over there. I'm going to have, say like in this open space here, like a, a bit of a market stall. So, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to go and catch some some fish just so I can have like one for for each different type of fish. Um so this can be like the the mayor's residence up here, so this'll be a little bit bigger. And then we'll have the the smaller homes dotted around around up here. So I was thinking because of what we're planning we're gonna do that was a terrible placement so across this bit bear in mind there's gonna be a wall here so we don't want it bang up to it so i'm thinking probably a stable of some kind here um, so you're coming in off your ship or whatever, say it's night and you're going to stay, stay the night in the, in the village before you know, maybe you're heading off over there towards the dwarves or, or the elves or you know, you're going up to see the mole people uh, over there somewhere. Are you going to war with the orcs way, way over there? Although you'd probably sail over there. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm thinking... Probably, not even even. No. There we go. Probably a, uh, a stable or something here. Now, this isn't accurate in any way. This is just a template. So we've got the wall coming round. Stable here. That's going to lead over to the bridge. So we're going to have that just there um so there's not going to be too much around here but we can have so we've got one of the uh the houses here and that's tiny let's go seven by seven by seven see how that well it gives us a five by five inside Let's try it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So that'd be the path into the village. With the little fishing hut there. And we come along here. This, I might cut this across, you know, just so it's more in line with that there but i'll do that do that some other time um i might even do a little house there if i do that so then you know we've got a stable there that's three four five six seven so the the design i'm looking at is kind of square um you may have gathered yeah let's go seven by three on that one so it's they're very square like um they've got very flat roofs uh, so it'll probably be either slabs maybe um Trap doors, something like that. Hmm. I'm thinking there maybe should be a bit of a structure here. I might need to build it this corner out a little bit just so the bridge to there isn't so bad. Um definitely want something over there as like a dock house. But because this one is a little bit bigger. We've got eleven. That gives us a nine internal. What's that? Uh, counting five. Six, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five internal. Uh, 
Yep. And then be like a porch or something or something on the on the front just here. Now these these designs are by no means set in concrete. Um it's just to get a general layout for some buildings. And five. Long and thin. Get one up here as well. Look at that. See so that's five, five. Yeah, so most of the uh, the houses and things are going to be on this end of it, and then over here is more going to be kind of like the market stands and things so you know, market stand there one there now how many fish we've got we've got what cod salmon trout it's a minimum uh, what else we got? Those they could potentially have like a kelp store. You know, the fishermen to get kelp come up with other things. Uh seagrass maybe. Hmm. I don't know. There's gonna be a few other other things. I suppose we'll, um I need to really get into the side of things just to see exactly what we could potentially oh I've used all the wall okay um so this I'm thinking as a as a as a watchtower something like that there's probably gonna be a few more things that I'm going to have to uh think on there's gonna be a few more houses as well another one in down here um this gives us a path going through the village so come in it brings you round down here over there you got the mayor's house there and i suppose if you're going over this way it does have that ability to bring you over there as well so there, there's something in architecture known as um, desire lines and that is kind of um, what we want to avoid in terms of having um, any desire lines so basically what they are is it would be where you want to go so a design line will be, okay, well, I want to go, I want to go to the mayor's house, so I'm going to come down this way and cut through the houses. Um, so that'd be a desire line. Uh, so those are sort of things we're going to avoid, and we can do that with how we build this up. Um, yeah, this is, it's been a bit more of a talky episode than normal. There's not particularly been any building, but it's been planning out the next part of this giant project of a world we've got. Uh, so there's a little bit more needs to go into where things are going to go here. Um, we've got a lot of work done over there. Uh, I'll probably do a bit more of this on a quick stream or something. Um, and building out the island and things like that so we'll, we'll get that done there um we 
yeah, sorry for it being a bit more talky than normal. Um, thanks for watching anyway, guys. And I appreciate all the lovely comments I get in the in the in the down there. Was lost words there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Ciao for now. Bye bye.